Welcome and good day to our first session on how to assure NMAT quantitative exams. By the way, so NMAT is actually the National Medical Admission Test. So let's begin with our question number one. So we have 96 divided by 8 divided by 4. So we will perform the operation from left to right. So meaning to say, I have 96 divided by 8 divided by 4. But 96 divided by 8 will give me 12. Then divided by 4. So 12 divided by 4 will give me 3. So the correct answer here is letter B. So let's have another example. So we have 5,845 plus 24,768 minus 9,651 minus 7,325. So we will perform the operation from left to right. So meaning to say, I'll add first 5,845 plus 24,768. So I have here 30,000, okay, 613. Then again, I'll perform the operation from left to right. So I have here 20,962 minus 7,325. So the final answer is 13,637. So the correct answer is letter A. Let's have this another operation that involves addition and subtraction. Again, so we will perform pro, uh, the operations from left to right. So we'll have 515 plus 309 first. So we have 824 minus 423 minus 716 plus 400. Then we subtract again. So we have 401 minus 716 plus 400. Then 401 minus 716 will give us negative 315 plus 400. So the final answer is equal to 85. Based on our choices, so the correct answer is letter B. So let's consider this next example. So I have here this expression. So what will I do is simply distribute the two. So I have here 2 times x will give me 2x. And then we have 2 times negative y will give me 2y. And then simply add 3. Since this is actually the expression x plus y and the uh, operation outside the expression is positive, so I'll simply copy x plus 3y. There. Then I'll distribute the negative 2. So I have negative 2 times x will give me negative 2x. And negative 2 times positive 1 will give me negative 2. So observe that I'll come up with this expression. And I, I can remove the positive 2x and negative 2x. And I can combine negative 2y plus positive y or positive 3y. So I'll have here positive y. Then I have 3 minus 2, so will give me positive 1. However, okay, I have here x. So I'll just write here positive x. Okay. Or I can simply re re rearrange this as this expression x plus y plus 1 so the correct answer in the choices is okay given 1 plus 6 over x plus 9 over x squared of course i do not know what to do <laughs> this one yet but look on our choices and our choices we have the denominator x squared plus uh, a and this one is another x squared so meaning to say that will give us the hint for our denominator take note that i'll extract okay the LCD of 1 and 6 over x plus 9 over x squared. And since this is x and x squared, so therefore the LCD is x squared because this is the high, okay, the variable that has the highest, okay, exponent. So therefore my LCD is actually x squared. Then again, I'll transform this one into x squared plus 6x plus 9 all over x squared. How? Because x squared divided by, okay, the denominator here is 1 is 1, times 1 will give us x squared. So x squared divided by x plus 6 will give us 6x, and x squared divided by x squared times 9 is equal to 9. But take note that I can factor this as a perfect square number, meaning to say I can ex extract the root of x squared, which is actually x, and the square root of, okay, 
the square root of 9 is equal to 3. By inspection, to get the middle term, I'll multiply x and 3. So that will give us 3x and always multiply by 2. So therefore, 2 times x times 3 will give me 6x. So therefore, I can rewrite the numerator as x plus 3 squared all over x squared. Based on our choices, so the correct answer is actually letter D. Okay, next we have 4 square root of 3 times 5 square root of 3. So the very first thing that we will do is actually multiply the numbers 4 and 5 first, and then multiply the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. So I have here 4 times 5, I have 20 times square root of square root of 9. But take note that the square root of 9 is actually 3. So I have 20 times 3, so I have 60. Based on our choices, so that the correct answer is letter C. Let's have another example. So I have here a cube of a binomial. So I have x plus y cubed plus x minus y cubed. So take note that if I'll take the cube of binomial, it will have four terms, such that the first term is the cube of x and the last term is the cube of okay, y. So it will result to okay, x cubed. This is the first term and this is the last term. Now, so to get this 3x squared y, I'll multiply the square root of x, uh, x and y, so it will result to x squared y times 3. Okay. So we have here. Next, so on the third term, I'll multiply x and y, so I have, okay, x, but take the square root of y, so, and multiply by 3, so it will result to 3xy squared. Then, we will do the same also here. It is almost similar on our first expansion of a cube of a binomial. However, since this is subtraction, so it will result to alternating signs, starting with a positive, okay, positive here, then we have negative, positive, and negative. But if I want to remove the parentheses here, guys, since this is positive, so it will result to, okay, this expression. Okay, nothing changed in our signs inside the parentheses. Then, I can remove the opposites. So I have 3x squared y minus 3x squared y, so that is equal to 0, and y cubed minus y cubed, so that will result to 0 now. So I have here x cubed plus x cubed, and also 3xy squared plus 3xy squared. So it will result to 2x cubed plus 6xy squared. Now take note, we will... Okay, factor this one with using the greatest common factor, and the greatest common factor is 2, okay, and the variable is x. So, factor it out. So, we have here, okay, 2x times the quantity x squared plus 3y squared because if we, if we will divide 2x cubed by 2x, it will result to x squared, while 6x y squared divided by 2x will result to 3y squared. So, the final answer is letter A. So, let's take these complex fractions. Take note that our denominator is actually uh, x minus 2 and the other one in the denominator of the denominator is x squared minus 4. So, this can be okay, factored out uh, as x plus 2 okay times x minus 2. So this is actually the difference of 2 squared. So therefore, our LCD is actually x plus 2 times x minus 2. So what we're going to do is we multiply both the numerator and denominator by x minus 2 times x plus 2. And take note, if I'll distribute this, okay, I can factor it out Guys, I can factor down here x, x times x minus 2 times x plus 2. So we have here. But I can factor out here x minus 2 and x minus 2. I have now 2x times x plus 2. On the denominator, I can distribute x minus 2 times x plus 2 
times 1. So I have here x minus 2 times x plus 2. But since this uh, is actually a difference of 2 squares, so I can simply factor it out. So what we have here is simply as plus 4. Then next, if I'll distribute x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x, it will come up with, okay, difference of 2 squares, x squared minus 4 times x. Plus, I have now here, okay guys, 2x plus x plus 2. Then again, I'll distribute x to x squared minus 4 and so on. So I have here guys, okay, x cubed minus 4x plus 2x squared plus 4x all over 2. But take note that I can remove here negative 4x and positive 4x. So it will result to x cubed plus 2x squared all over x squared. But then again, if you will look closely, so the common factor is actually x squared. So I factored out the numerator. So, okay. So I have here x squared times x plus 2 because, okay, x cubed divided by x squared is x and 2x squared divided by x squared will give me, okay, positive 2 all over x squared. Then, remove the greatest common factor. So the answer is equal to x plus 2. Based on our choices, the correct answer is letter D. So let's take this complicated law of exponents problem. So I have here 25 raised to negative 1 plus 25 raised to negative 2 divided by 25 raised to negative 2. So take note that we will use the factoring here. Okay, so since our exponent here is negative 2, so this is our now, okay, the common factor. So I'll factor it out, so I have 25 raised to negative 2. So take note that negative 2 plus positive 1 will give us negative 1 here. Since 25 raised to negative 2 divided by 25 raised to negative 2 will give me 1. But recall that 25 raised to 1 is actually 25. Then I can factor out 25 raised to negative 2 and also as 25 raised to negative 2. So it will result now to, okay, this is actually 25 plus 1 will give me 26. So the answer here is letter A. Let's consider this complicated um, law of exponents exercise. So I can rewrite this expression as 3 raised to n plus 2 all over 3 raised to n plus 3 minus 3 raised to n plus 1. But take note that, okay, I can expand 3 raised to n plus 2 as 3 raised to n times 3 raised to 2 all over 3 raised to n times 3, uh, 3 cubed minus 3 raised to n times 3 raised to 1. But I can regroup, okay, or I can factor out 3 raised to n in the denominator. So what we have here is 3 cubed minus 3 raised to 1 in the denominator. Then I can factor out 3 raised to n. Okay, so what we have here is actually 3 squared, which is actually 9. Then 3 cubed is 27 minus 3. So I have here 9 all over 27 minus 3. So we'll give me 9 over 24 and reduce both the numerator by 3. Okay, so this is 3. And 24 divided by 3 will give us 8. So the final answer is 3 over 8. So therefore, based on our choices, it is letter C.